So if you're looking for a window into a one-of-a-kind movie, one of the most ambitious films from Disney, you are in luck because it's right here at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem where the Art of Soul, an American adventure, officially opens. I'm joined by Carmen Smith, Senior Vice President of Creative Development at Walt Disney uh, Imagineering, and Tracy Heider Suffern, Executive Director at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Thank you, ladies, both for being with me today. Thank you. So, Carmen, tell me a little bit about the movie Soul and why jazz was the perfect genre to help tell this incredible story. Well, you think about jazz, it is, it's an American story. And so for us, it was perfect. And when you think about the origins of jazz out of New Orleans, and you think about it came out of uh, those that were enslaved, freed from the Caribbean, Latin America, France, uh, uh, Ireland, it is, it is so much of who we are here in the United States. So again, for us to tell a story that has everyone's influence in it was for us, yes, we can do this. Yes, Tracy, you are the executive director here. Uh, can you talk about the importance of having this museum in Harlem? Well, the National Jazz Museum in Harlem is part of the fabric of the Harlem story, right? As Car Carmen just described the movie, we're representative of the village of Harlem and the people who live here and the creative and social experiences that have that bring people together in this community. All of it is represented inside of the museum between our collaboration with Disney to to install this wonderful exhibit, to our Duke Ellington piano, to uh, the chairs that we have in here so people can just come and sit and hang out all day. Yeah. We're representative of the community. Yeah, Carmen, talk a little bit more about that incredible partnership. Well, you know, it is for us, whenever we're starting on a project, we do, we arm ourselves with knowledge. And when we started with uh, the Soul of Jazz and American Adventure, we reached out to some of our colleagues in the jazz world, including Tracy, including uh, executives in New Orleans, you know, and in Kansas City. And so starting with knowledge first, getting a chance to know the museum and all that they have to offer, for us, what a unique opportunity to tell the story of Joe Gardner, the protagonist of Soul, started here in New York and to find ourselves back here in Harlem uh, in partnership with the National Jazz Museum was such a win-win opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just so proud of this partnership. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how we work. We basically find out all the information we need to know, mm -hmm. develop strong partnerships, because for us, it's really about bringing the experiences that we have in the park to communities around the country. Mm -hmm. You know, this exhibit is traveling from New Orleans, Kansas City, now we're in Harlem and more cities to come. So again, it's partnership and collaboration, and we're just so honored to work in collaboration with the National Jazz Museum. Absolutely, so you mentioned the lead character here, Joe Gardner, who's an aspiring jazz pianist. He is a fictional character, but he is representative of so many people. Why do you think his story is so important and why it's so important to share it with people around the world through this exhibit? Well, I think that, you know, Joe's character shows sort of like all the layers of what we go through when we're aspiring to do something. You know, again, he felt challenged, but he overcame that. He was a teacher, he was a mentor, he was someone that believed in others, inspired others. And so for us to have a character like that, that showcase, I think it gives both young people, people of every age, you know, an opportunity to say, yes, I can do that. Mm -hmm. So Joe's an incredible inspiration for us. That's one story of so many that you can find here at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Um, how can they come and visit tomorrow, the big launch day? The, the easiest way to get here is to take the number two or number three train to 125th Street and Lenox Avenue and walk up to 129th. We're at 58 West 129th Street near the corner of Malcolm X Boulevard, mm -hmm. Central Harlem. Right, it really is the perfect, the perfect place any day, but especially this month, mm -hmm. as we really spotlight and focus on Black History Month. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you guys, back to you.